Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is the get and set collision response to channel nodes. So we're going to be looking at three nodes: the get collision response to channel node, and then the two setters. And I'll show you a quick example. We'll fire at a couple things here. It says block in the top left, block in the top left, and ignore in the top left. Well, what we're doing is we're getting the collision response to specific channels. In this case, I'm hitting something with the line trace. Our node takes in a primitive component, and we're going to ask it for a specific channel information. So in this case, ignore player as a channel. We look at our project settings. Ignore player is a special custom channel I've put in there. And if you look at your responses, you have ignore, overlap, and block. So of course, if we look at any of our items here, we can see we have ignore, overlap, and block. If I change this item, ignore channel, the ignore player channel, to overlap, and we hit play, well, we're going to get overlap, which is what we expect. So this node lets you know ahead of time how something is going to respond to a specific collision channel response. Collision channel response. How it's going to respond to a specific collision channel. Now, if we hook up our setters, we have two different setters. They both take in primitive components. Again, we're going to get our hit component actor that we're putting in for the line trace. But one of them is a all channel. So let's say, for example, okay, this item needs to just stop causing problems. You can do an all channel, set it to ignore, and now all channels are going to ignore anything from it. So we're going to do this in this case. We'll set it to ignore all channels. We're going to fire at this item over here. It's going to print out overlap because that's what we expected. And then when I fire again, well, nothing's going to happen. And if you look, well, that's because our trace isn't hitting anything. We've told it to ignore everything. If we change this to block, we hit play, and we fire. Overlap is what we expect, but now we get block because all of our channels, including the ignore channel that we're checking for, is now set to block. If you want something a little more specific, you can hook up your individual node. Same thing, takes in a primitive component, but this takes in a specific channel and a specific response. So in this case, let's say you want to change the ignore player from ignore to now block. We'll go ahead and hit play. If we walk our character over here and we fire, you'll notice it says overlap, and now it says block. So we've changed it from overlap to block. So let's change this back to ignore. We'll hit play. My player is now ignore, and then now it's block. And of course, if I fall off, that really doesn't help. Those are your three nodes for the collision response to channel. You can get, it's going to return back an enumerator of all of your different types of channels, ignoring, overlapping, or blocking, based on the channel you put in. You can set all the channels to ignore, overlap, or block. Or you can set an individual channel to ignore, overlap, or block.